G'day, it's Oscar here from Drones for Hire. I've had the T100 for a couple of weeks now. I just wanted to go through three features that I really love about the new system. First one is in manual plus mode. So if you've used the spray drone before, a DJI spray drone before, you know that manual plus is a really useful tool. One of the limitations was it's very hard to line up for your next run once you've changed the battery or fill a tank. Now there's a feature which automatically takes the drone to the point that you broke, the break point. So how you do this is in the controller, you'll fill up or change your battery, you'll take off, and usually I'll manually fly it to the general area, just because that's often more efficient, because you have to manually take off anyway. Then we just hit this button here, and it'll move the drone to that point, and probably the more important thing is that it lines it up and gets that right heading. And then you can just carry on with your mission. So that means that rather than being limited to that sort of hectare, maybe two, one battery, one tank for manual plus, now we can just keep on going with the manual plus. And then the other thing that, that correlates to that is then you can create a mission from your manual plus. So then you can save that as a field, come back and do it fully automated the next time. The second thing that I really love about the T100 is the new feature within the field option or the route building menu. So I can go down here to custom and then I can place my waypoints in anywhere I like. So say I wanted to run a fence line, I could put my waypoints on the corner posts and it will reconstruct that flight path in a two-dimensional waypoint like we would in any any sort of drone operational two-dimensional waypoint. So now we can spray that line and nothing else. It allows us to create a custom path, a custom line, so simply a waypoint mission as opposed to a, a full field that we then fill in with our swim lanes or, or swath runs. This is great for doing dam banks, for doing roadways, for doing um, fire breaks and that sort of thing. We used to have little tricks that we could do it and we could always go through terror, but having this feature on the remote control in field has been awesome. Really enjoy that one. And then the final, the third feature that I've really been enjoying is just the speed and the efficiency. So 70 something K an hour for return to home and going out to the job, really fast, really efficient to get out there and start the spraying. The turnarounds at the end of the runs are really smooth and efficient. There's no hovering, there's no pausing. It doesn't need to adjust its height. It just smoothly comes round and lines up for the next run. Um, and takeoff and landing, those speeds, they're just quicker, they're just smoother. And obviously with the LiDAR, that ability, ability for the drone to keep moving at higher speeds while maintaining its terrain. So on jobs where I used to be getting 16K an hour in order to hold my height on that sort of rougher terrain with the T50, I'm now doing them at 25K an hour with, with, with better terrain tracking than the T50. So that's the three features that I've really been enjoying about the T100. Thanks for watching.